with Kendall confessing she didn't want to move too fast in any new romance, Adam told the brunette beauty he was starting to lose faith in a future with her and decided to call off their relationship. Frustrated that their relationship isn't going anywhere, Adam confronted Kendall about why the distance was putting him off Adam told her, I think the way things have panned out, I don't know what I can do more I've given you space when you needed space It took a lot to couple up and actually pick you anyway There's just been a few things, and it's probably better that we are just friends. I just don't really see it going any further. While Kendall retreated to the beach hut, while fighting back tears, Adam wasted any time finding island newbie Rosie in the garden. So where's your head at now? Rosie questioned. Remaining coy, Adam retorted mine. Where do you think it's at? Rosie responded I don't know. I've sort of made it clear that I'm interested, but I feel a bit awkward, so I've just left you to it. I was really nervous because Kendall's obviously around and she's nice and I didn't want to upset her. She's a nice girl, but then I wasn't going to say I didn't like you either. With their kiss from Thursday's truth or dare still playing in his mind, the hunky personal trainer playfully asked Rosie if she remembered their lip lock before packing on the PDA in full view of the other islanders. Adam has actually really surprised me Rosie told the beach hut. He said there was something there with me and him which was nice. So we did have a little kiss. I'm definitely excited about Adam. I'm definitely a bit giddy, a bit like a schoolgirl and smiling. It started well anyway, but I do want to take it slow, and hopefully it will lead somewhere, we'll see. Meanwhile, Kendall Adam and that she didn't want to give up the muscular Adonis returned to Adam the next day for a second chance throwing Adam off course and what he wants Kendall told Adam, maybe this is the chance for me to tell you that I do still like you I would like to carry on getting to know you. I know you've called it a day, but I do get jealous Taken aback by Kendall's admission of jealously, Adam started to rethink his decision to jump ship to Rosie and told the beach hut, Kendall's pretty much just in two minutes, probably given us more out of the whole time I've spent with her in the villa previously, so I mean, it took me kissing Rosie to actually spark it off. I like the fact that she actually came over to us and said that it upset her because now I know she actually cares. Kendall revealed she was bitterly disappointed to have been kicked off the show so early into the series, but has insisted she doesn't harbor any regrets about her time on the program. On being out of the villa first, the beauty told Mel in line, I am a little bit gutted to be out, obviously no one wants to be the first one out. I wouldn't change anything, I'm proud of all the decisions I made and I don't regret anything. Discussing her recoupling with Adam, she said, I don't look back with regret, I didn't pick Adam. He picked me, so I had no control over that. Obviously it wasn't the best situation for Niall, but we still got on as friends. Fans took to Twitter to vent their frustration over Kendall being the first to leave 
with many comparing him to last season's Marky Mike Thalassitis. Adam is cancelled. Rosie is cancelled. Love Island is cancelled, tweeted one upset viewer. Kendall's gone home. Ale chose Haley. Sorry, number Love Island is cancelled. Someone explain who the winner of the series just left on the fifth episode. Will she come back to win, or is she getting the 50 grand by default? Adam really is monkeyer than Muggy Mike. What a pelt Adam is. Ugly inside and out Kendall better of out of their dot elsewhere, the singletons received the dreaded recalpling text and scrambled to make sure they weren't the first one sent packing. Georgia Steele and Nihilus Slam immediately tucked themselves away for an intimate chat before sharing their second steamy kissing. But not feeling as comfortable with her pairing, Haley Hughes, still reeling following the truth or dare game with Ale Booker, chatted to Donnie Dyer after suspecting Jack could be a good replacement. After the rather revealing game, Donnie revealed she felt the pang of jealously and decided to try again with original matchup Jack Fincham, which led to an awkward chat with Haley. Following her conversation with the celebrity offspring, Haley told the Beach Hut if she genuinely feels them feelings and she feels like she's being genuine to herself then yeah I believe she should give it a go. Why not? Explaining her sudden U-turn with Jack, Donnie told Haley, it wasn't about you. It was just let's just give it a chance, see what happens, get to know each other a bit more, and I was like yeah, okay cool and I don't want you to think that I'm going back on my word because I just want to see what happens. With Haley firmly set on trying to win back Ale, Donnie, and Jack finally opened up about their feelings towards each other. This is the happiest I felt since I've been here Jack enthused. I promise you. Jokes aside. I feel like a weight's been lifted. I do, I honestly do. After leaning in for a kiss which was reciprocated by Donnie the rest of the islanders cheered the budding couple on. Clearly still jubilant over her smooch with Jack, Donnie returned to the beach hot beaming and declared herself the Meghan Markle of the island. We had a kiss and I felt like I just got married. Like when Meghan walked down the aisle and got married and that, I feel like that was me and everyone was cheering. Namely Brexit. Haley was left baffled by the subject, while student Georgia explained it was about the UK leaving the European Union. It would mean welfare, and things we trade with would be cut down, Georgia continued. Still seemingly confused by the whole topic, Haley awkwardly asked, So that does that mean we won't have any trees? Before being called out for her lack of political insight, Haley hadn't been quiet about her fears of leaving the island and reignited a sudden interest in Ale, which caused him to feel suspicious over her motives. Unconvinced by her actions, Ale told the beach hut, Haley has been showing me a little bit more attention in trying to get to know me more over the past day or so, and it's been nice, but at the same time I'm not sure whether it's genuine, so that in itself is just a little bit confusing. Considering ditching the blonde model for Lava Learn Kendall, Ale outlined his opinions on Haley to the other guys. Ale confided, as soon as Haley saw me kiss Kendall yesterday, she's completely changed her tune. Her whole vibe towards me. I in the sense of just trying to get to know me and actually acknowledging me 
and giving me the time of day. In the beach hut, Haley addressed her new approach towards Gail, adding, he feels like he's the one with me, that's making the effort and maybe that is the case, but obviously I just need to get to know him more as a person before you rule anything out. But it's nice to show interest in a person and get to know them. Out of the final rookout pulling, only Niall and Adam chose not to return to their original matchup, with Wes opting for Laura, Dr. Alex choosing Samira, Jack picking Donnie and AL sticking with Haley, despite their previous rift. But the Islanders shouldn't remain too relaxed as three new hopefuls will enter the villa on Sunday with models Megan Barton Hansen, Charlie Frederick and Ladbable presenter Josh Denzel certain to stir up some drama in the episodes ahead.